Imagine you have an element like this link right here, and it has certain attributes. Let's confirm that this anchor link has an attribute ID, but we don't know the value. So we can say get the anchor element should have attribute ID. We're not checking if there is a specific value, we just checking it has an ID. Now we can confirm the value in two ways. We can just add a value, my link string. And now it confirms the presence of an attribute ID, the value of my link. Now, what if we, for example, know only part of an attribute? In that case, we can get the same thing. And in this case, I'm going to get the anchor with my link text inside. And I'll say it should have attribute title. Now, this checks the presence of the title, but not the value. We know value should be at least five characters. And here's what we can do with this attribute. Usually in Cypress, every assertion keeps the subject the same. It just checks it and then allows us to pass to the next command or assertion. Should have attribute is slightly different. It's one of the very few assertions that actually changes the subject to the value of the attribute. So after should have attribute title passes, we get the value of that attribute. We can check it by logging it to the command log. So you can see it's a string home page. It allows us to chain assertions. We're getting the attribute and then we can say something like its length should be greater than let's say five characters long okay so we have an element we confirming it has an attribute title and we yield the title we get its length and we check that it's greater than five and this is pretty convenient because what we can do is add multiple assertions but really the first one checks the attribute and the second assertion uh, check its value for example, let's say that we want to check the href attribute. So we get the anchor link should have href, which gives us the value. And we can say should match. And now we can get a regular assertion. Let's say link, and, you know, a couple of um, numbers, and that's how it ends. Perfect. We found the link, we confirm it has href, and the href matches our regular expression. So this is how we can validate attributes of DOM elements.